Today's video is a horror story, a Chanel horror story about a pre-owned Chanel medium vanity case that I bought and the disaster that followed. Stay tuned. First things first, here's the listing. So I've blacked out the seller's details, obviously, because I don't want a defamation case on my hands. Um, but here is the listing details of the item that I purchased. So this medium beige vanity case by Chanel was described as mint condition, 9.5, um, no signs of wear, pretty much excellent condition. I messaged the seller, I said, I'm interested. Um, is there anything, like, is there absolutely any signs of wear on this bag? You know, has it been used? Where did you get it? Blah, 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 all sorts of different questions. She came back to me and said, you know, it's perfect condition. She had bought it from a reseller overseas. Um, she had sourced the bag, paid over RRP for it. Had too many vanity cases in her collection, so um, was selling it. So I made sure I got heaps of pictures. I mean, there is tons of photos that she sent me. She sent me videos, like so much detail about the bag. But then the bag that arrived to me didn't look anything like the videos. It was so worn. It had been obviously sent to a bag spot and painted, like there was paint chips coming off, you know, like I'll show you the photos. Let me get into it. I will show you the photos and um, you can see for yourself the bag that actually arrived at my house. So I just want to stop you for a sec there and ask you to please subscribe to my channel. I upload a new video every weekend. Please um, let me know if you like this video by liking and commenting. I will reply to every single comment that I get on here. Um, and yeah, every weekend I upload a new video. So um, stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the bell so you can be updated on my um, recent uploads. Thank you. Now this seller was obsessed with making sure that I was happy with the item, right? She sent me so many photos. She sent me videos. She sent me like so many different things of this item and was like obsessed with me being saying that I was happy with the item. Like, are you happy? You know, I've sent you all these photos, like you, the, the photos make up part of the description, blah, 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 blah. Literally like, I should have probably taken that as a bit of a warning sign that I was like, it's really odd that she keeps being like, are you sure you're happy? You sure? Like, you know, you're happy with the condition. I've sent you heaps of photos. Hey, like I've definitely sent you lots of photos and was like pretty full on about it. And I was like, mm bit weird but whatever I really wanted the bag so I made payment thank goodness I paid through PayPal goods and services because I tell you what if I had done a bank deposit or like PayPal family and friends or you know something that I wasn't covered for buyer protection I would have lost my money now I paid five thousand two hundred dollars for this which um, against retail at the time was a good deal. But I had seen other ones selling in the groups for sort of around that. So I was like, sweet, 5,200. I felt like that was a bargain. I felt like I got a really good deal for that. Happy to pay it. Transferred it like immediately, um, bought the bag. Everything was fine until the bag arrived. Now this here that I'm gonna show you is the video that the seller sent to me of all the different angles of the bag. And as you can see, I mean, it looks perfect. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Um, I'm also gonna upload some photos so you'll be able to see those here as well. Photos from the seller showing perfect condition, nothing wrong with the bag, no signs of wear. Now, as you can see in these pictures, you can see this is the inside of the bag, how it's all sort of peeling. This is right where the zipper is. So um, the zipper's obviously rubbed against it so many times that it started to peel off. Um, the next picture is the gold hardware. You can see that the gold hardware has marks on it and scratches. So this is what I find like completely disgusting about on selling that people can sell things in this sort of condition and say that they are mint condition with no signs of wear and charge somebody $5,200 for the pleasure. And in this next picture, you can actually see where it has been to the bag spa and been previously painted. 
because it's all sort of started to crinkle the paint and um, look like it's going to start peeling soon. Now the next picture is of the material along the zipper. So as you can see, it's been zipped so many times that that's sort of starting to um, go bawly. So basically I said, I want a refund. This is not how the bag was described to me in the listing. It was described as perfect condition. Um, I want an, like, an immediate refund. And then she just started like going off, blaming me for it, that I must have done it. But I mean, I was like, I've literally just picked it up from the post office. I've just signed for it, come straight home. It's been about 10 minutes since I signed for it at the post office, which would be on the tracking. So there is no way that I could have opened the box and bashed it around and worn it. I mean, what do I like? She thinks I've like thrown it around my house. Like who knows? Anyway, so I just was like, I'm getting nowhere with you. So I straight away put in a PayPal claim. Very simple, easy process, put in a claim, submitted some um, of my photos with like my evidence with a little write up and immediately they freeze the funds in the seller's account. Um, I get told to post it back with tracking, which I made sure that I did tracking um, all the way like signature on delivery to ensure that it got back to her because you know, dodgy, who even knows. So yeah, it got delivered, the money got frozen in her PayPal account immediately and as soon as it had been returned to her delivered on the tracking I got my five thousand two hundred dollars refunded to me so what a horrific experience I mean this is a well-known seller in my private Facebook group that I'm a part of I mean she comments on everything she's like her name is everywhere she goes to the group meetups like you know obviously I'm not going to disclose who it is but I mean other people have probably bought bags of this woman she does have a huge collection I mean I've seen photos of her collection she's well known in this particular group I've had conversations with her before we've discussed bags sent photos backwards and forwards like I was completely caught off guard by this I absolutely just I just like I just don't know how people can be so dishonest when they're selling something for so much money so yeah pay with PayPal goods and services OMG, if you're buying something so expensive, unless you can visualize the item. I mean, she lived over the other side of Australia, so I couldn't actually visualize it. And even though she had said, you're happy with the bag, I've sent you all these photos, like trying to get me to say, yeah, I'm completely happy. It still didn't work because PayPal still took my side in the case because it wasn't as described. So just be careful out there, people. Do your um, due diligence. Make sure that um, you're really like, if you're happy with the item, if you can't view it, make sure you pay PayPal goods and services, because at least if it arrives and it's not as expected, you can get your money refunded. So that's my top tip. Thank you for watching. I will put some um, links to a couple of my other videos up here or here on the side, maybe. You can subscribe to my channel here. Please subscribe. Please like this video and please click the bell so you can be um, updated every weekend when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.